Hi, I'm Chef Jason Hill here in Chinatown, Los Angeles, home to some of the most authentic Chinese food in California. Did you know the fortune cookie was invented right here in 1916? During Chinese New Year, I explored the streets of Chinatown, enjoying the people, the shows, and eating my way through some of LA's best Chinese restaurants. I left satisfied and inspired to make a great Chinese recipe at home. All right, let's make a great Chinese chicken recipe. Orange chicken recipes are famous here in California, where you'll find them on practically every Chinese menu. But why settle for Chinese delivery when you can make it easily at home? I know the most popular recipes for orange chicken are deep fried, but I think it's just as tasty and it's healthier as they saute. All right, let's learn how to make orange chicken. First, we're gonna make the orange chicken sauce. For this easy sauce preparation, we're starting with a half a cup of packed brown sugar, and we're gonna whisk in a half a cup of white wine vinegar and three tablespoons of soy sauce. You can use low sodium if you like. And then next you're gonna need the juice of one fresh orange. After you've whisked the sauce and the sugar's dissolved, you're gonna grab another orange and we're gonna take the zest off, which we're gonna to add to the saute a little bit later. To zest fresh citrus fruits, I recommend a little handheld zester, or you can use a grater. But be careful when you're zesting, you only want the zest. You don't wanna to go too deep and get that white rind in there because that's bitter. Now let's quickly go over the ingredients we're gonna to need to saute the chicken. You're gonna need about a tablespoon of sesame oil, about a tablespoon of sake, which is rice wine, a cup of diced green onion, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, or you can use red pepper flakes, a teaspoon each of minced garlic and minced fresh ginger root. You need a little bit of a cornstarch slurry, and three cups of boneless, skinless, diced chicken breast, which I dice last. For the slurry, you just need one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water and mix up. To get to the fresh ginger root, we need to remove the skin. Took off one little piece, give me a flat work surface, and we're just gonna kinda square it up, removing the skin as we do this. And then we're gonna just grate it on a cheese grater. All right, have my wok preheated on high. I'm gonna pour in about a tablespoon of the sesame oil and we're going to add our garlic and ginger and stir for about 30 seconds then we're going to add the chicken. All right, let's get our chicken in there. All right, after stir frying for about three to five minutes, let's go ahead and put our onion in followed by the pepper. And we're going to stir that around and let it cook for another minute or so. All right, now we're gonna hit it with about a tablespoon of sake. And stir that around and we're gonna add our sauce. All right, let's pour in our sauce mix. We're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna add our slurry and it's gonna thicken it up. All right, you see it's coming to a boil. Check this out. Pour a steady stream of the slurry in there, stirring all the time. I'm gonna see it start to thicken. After I added the cornstarch, I let it cook for about another minute and you can see it's thickened up. Now it's time to stir in our orange zest. And this will be ready to eat. Okay, let's plate up. I like to serve this over a bed of brown steamed rice. And we'll put a little orange peel in there for garnish, followed by some green onion. There you go. Sauteed orange chicken. I hope you enjoy this healthier version of the orange chicken. My two daughters have already given it a thumbs up, and I have to agree. Thanks for watching.